The chief nuclear negotiators of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan met in Washington on Tuesday. The talks center around coordination on Pyongyang and the reaffirmation of pursuing complete denuclearization as well as lasting peace on the peninsula. Kim hye sung has the full story. South Korea's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, Lee Do-hoon, met with his U.S. counterpart Stephen Began and Japanese counterpart Shigeki Dakizaki in Washington Tuesday local time. The U.S. State Department said the officials from the three countries reaffirmed the importance of bilateral and trilateral coordination in North Korea to achieve complete denuclearization and bring lasting peace to the Korean Peninsula. The meeting comes two weeks after they met in New York on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly and just a few days after nuclear talks between Pyongyang and Washington broke down in Sweden last Saturday. They are known to have shared information on the talks between North Korea and the U.S. and on ways to keep up the negotiations. North Korea's nuclear envoy Kim Myung-gil had said the U.S. arrived empty-handed to the talks, a point disputed by U.S. State Department officials. The U.N. Security Council also held a closed-door meeting Tuesday local time to discuss North Korea's latest missile test, which is claimed to be a submarine-launched ballistic missile. The council urged Pyongyang and Washington to go back to Stockholm, Sweden and resume nuclear talks. Following the meeting, six European envoys representing France, Germany, the U.K. and others released a statement condemning Pyongyang's missile tests and called for the strict enforcement of international sanctions against North Korea. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.